So with the feedback project for 2K19 being over, I would like to reflect and take a look at what I added to the 2K forums dealing with 2K19 in hopes for improvement for WWE 2K20. Let's start it with the gameplay and again. From a gameplay aspect, I am more of a fundamental person. You fix the fundamentals first, then you will have fun. And taking a look at what I added, which is fixed physics. Again, this is a reminder of how fun physics could be. Fixing ladder physics and properties. Fixing tables and properties. Fixing the submission system. Weight detection. Also, adding in the idea to remove weight detection moves because you already have an option to switch the weight between simulation and arcade. Referees. Referees need to be more aggressive dealing with the submission system, dealing with weapons, dealing with 10 count, and fighting back against you or the opponent. I also added in uh, to allow the users to control their stamina. Users must have the ability to control their own stamina and fatigue. Submission and kick out options. I feel that button action should make a return in not only the submission system, but also when it comes to kicking out a pin. Give users the ability to fight back when you, when you lose the match. Again, I like the addition of the leverage pin, but in a regular match, it should be addressed. You know, controls for your manager. Give the user the ability to let your manager attack after the match. Fixing the run-in payback. Instead of it being a random person, how about your run-in being your tag team partner or a stable member? Ability to throw objects again. Working on the drag animations, fixing the ring bounce animations, fixing knockout in matches. Why not adding in a button mashing when you're about to be knocked out? And I'll use that example with Day of Reckoning. Again, one of my favorite games. And finally, backstage matches give the user the ability to carry objects like tables, ladders. Allow security or superstars to interfere instead of running, running away. Running away. Easy for me to say. Give users the ability to use their submission moves backstage. And bring back tag team controls for the AI. Moving on to universe mode. Instead of starting universe mode with the default superstars and settings, why not start one from scratch? Have it set up to well to where you can go screen by screen and set it up your own universe. Briefly talked about this in uh, the video about starting universe mode from scratch. Moving on with rivalries. It should be up to five rivalries with six superstars. One on one and two on two rivalries are fine, but we need to have three, four, five-way rivalries, or allow three on three tag teams and not just for the Survivor Series. When setting up matches, you will have or allow to have up to 10 matches per episode. Given the fact that the pit reviews and the special events are now longer, which I heard that it's gonna be a 17 match card for WrestleMania, way too much. Way too much. But if you want to go with having up to at least 10 matches, you have the ability to do that. When setting up the card, have it blank so that the user will have control of setting up the structure of the show. Bring back Pepper View concepts, better four way, endurance, tournaments, and the ability to add in terminates, terminants. Terminate. Tournaments. Again, easy for me to say. Add in tournaments from the play now. This has been an issue for the past few years. 
you can add in tournament elements for a show or for a pay-per-view. Manually set up different status effects for each superstars. If you want to superstar out with injuries or on streaks, the user must have control over them. Backstage promos. Think about the possibility of adding, of adding in these types of promos. Have the ability to set up number one contender matches for any championship. Give the user the freedom to do that. Have promos make sense. Because I'm tired of somebody like Undertaker being WWE champion. Yet, they have him cut a promo about being a number one contender. More user interference in matches. I, I really want Universe Mode to be so chaotic. Because then you could come up with so many matches. You could come up with so many rivalries. I think having chaos in Universe Mode is a good way for users to keep coming back. Moving on to new features. The problem that I have with new features in the game is that there are still problems with the old features. For example, the submission system with rope break, the five count, the physics system and how dynamic it could be. Cruiser weights and super heavy weights interaction or the war between the wrestler and the referee. With that being said, I think it's time to go back to fundamentals and what makes a wrestling game fun. You can't be a simulation pop product, but still have fun. But this is the only suggestion that I have. This is an idea in order to bring some strategy back to the game and have fun because it can address things like momentum, stamina, limb damage, and that is bringing back the animation cards from SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. This is a good idea, in my opinion. You Again, you could just turn the simulation back to arcade and have that type of environment, but for people like me who are strategists, who would like to win using the simulation features, I think this is a great addition back into the game. Again, adding in the fundamentals will lead you to a better game. Moving on to my career. I don't mind having an online my career. Again, it could be similar to the My Park in NBA 2K. This is an example of bringing in the uh, Maya D career. And plus, having that ability it could bring in the idea of having the freedom when it comes to online. I mean, you could team up with your friends, go solo, uh, create a stable, those type of things. And of course, I wouldn't mind having a women's my career and have at least one of your female calls, create a superstars to um, have that type of career. But again, we'll see. And there was already talk about uh, dealing with my career that uh, they will continue the storyline. So now we will focus on the towers, which again, I didn't think it really wasn't that immersive enough. Again, you can have tag team towers with your friends. And again, not a huge fan of towers, I think. The direction that uh, 2K is going, you can add more into universe mode, to online, to the play now, that type of stuff. But Towers, uh, wasn't huge of it except for the million dollar tower challenge, which, you know, I completed it. Moving on to Road to Glory. Again, this is the thing, adding in tag team with your friends online. And again, it'll... Really? Same thing goes for Road to Glory. I think that adding in tag teams and having with your friends online, that would be the best bet to make the game more immersive. But again, wasn't really a fan of things like My Towers or Road to Glory. Also, I do see a lot in the comment section and in the forums for loot boxes. 
I also agree. Loot boxes kind of ruined the game for everybody. So, looking at WWE uh, match types for 2K20, I'm taking the realistic point of view. Yes, things like Inferno matches, Spirit Alive matches, Casket matches, pretty fun. But, I'm looking at it from a realistic point of view, which is to add in Special Referee, add in the I Quit match, Add in Elimination Chamber Tag Team Matches, which would be the 3 on 3 tag, or from the Elimination Chamber match itself, the two tag teams, while the other four teams are inside the cell. You can also add in that if one person in the match is eliminated, the team is not fully eliminated. I think that would be a good feature to the game. Custom matches, more options with this feature. Because I really want to add in the weapon wheel inside the Hell in a Cell match. You know, it's funny. You add in all these new features for the cage matches, the Hell in a Cell matches. Yet, you take out the weapons for the Hell in a Cell match. I don't get it. So, when it comes to the extra so miscellaneous things, when it comes to 2K... All I really want is to have a soundtrack that sounds like a wrestling contract. You know, add in artists like Drone and Pruel, Stain, Godsmack, Cree, because Cree had some good songs back in the day. You know, Our Lady Peace, Limp Biscuit. I find it kind of funny that, you know, you talked about the Attitude Era, you talk about all these things, yet there is no Limp Biscuit music. Or what you could do is to create your own custom soundtrack. So when it comes to the creation suite, the things that um, I really want and the things that should be in the game now, create a story or create a story designer. That needs to return. Create a finisher. That needs to return. And I don't get the idea of, you know, having finishers that are unrealistic when in reality it's a video game it's supposed to be fun but nonetheless I wouldn't mind having a create a comeback that should be added in um, import music for interests need to return or use the soundtrack for this year's game as an option for the entrance I also forgot things that the opened up Pandora's box for you know created arena my apologies but this is really something that 2k should take a look at so when it comes to the roster couldn't care less who's in the game who's not in the game but what i do want is to clean up the ui when it comes to parent player selections and different alternatives again instead of having five different stings you can have one sting, but have five different attires of that character. Have five different entrances for that character. And lastly, it comes to the 2K showcase mode. Again, not really a huge fan of it. I wouldn't mind seeing the Hardys versus Douglas versus Edge and Christian's showcase. If and only if 2K can fix the tables, ladders, and chairs, physics, placement, and interaction with those objects. But if 2K decides to continue it, it should be memorable, and that's the thing. This is something that you should have when going back to old versions of the game. So, this is what I added in for the feedback project. Uh, let me know what you think. What uh, did I miss? What should be uh, in, added in for the forms? Uh, moving forward with 2K20. Let me know of your overall suggestions. Do you think I did a good job? Do you think I can add in more? Uh, let me know. And uh, this is Obi-Wan signing out. Thank you.